Hello everybody, and welcome to another, um, YouTube series I'm starting. Um, this one is Crash the Wrath of Cortex. Um, I played this a lot when I was a child. I want to play all the Crash games. The side, um... A Universal Interactive Studios production. Not the side ones. I guess they are side ones. Um, but like the ones after like the, the original trilogy before the new one comes out in fall in the fall um crash it's about time so we'll get started with this i'm playing the gamecube version by the way just because it runs better than the ps2 version That's it! If released, their destructive energy could create enough power to bring my secret weapon to life. We have a weapon capable of crushing mountains, demolishing entire cities, and wiping Crash Bandicoot off the face of the Earth forever! Get ready to face my wrath, Crash Bandicoot! <laughs> Everyone all right? It appears that my evil twin brother Uka Uka is up to his no good tricks again. I must find out what he is planning. I'll meet up with you later. Hello, my evil brother. You have gotten my attention, Uka Uka. What kind of diabolical scheme do you and Dr. Cortex have planned this time? No scheme. Just some old familiar faces dropping by for a visit. <laughs> no, not the elementals. Uka Uka, why did you release them? Don't you know what happened the last time they were free? So they were responsible for a few earthquakes, floods, and that little ice age a couple of centuries back. You worry too much, brother. You cannot restrain them, Uka Uka. They are far too dangerous. This could spell disaster for us all. <laughs> On the 
contrary, Aku Aku. It spells disaster for you and that precious planet you care so much about. Destroy him! <laughs> You won't get away with this. <laughs> Who's going to stop us? <laughs> I don't know if that was supposed to be funny or not. Coco, it is just as I feared. Uga Uga and Dr. Cortex have freed a group of destructive masks known as the Elementals. We must find a way to stop them before they destroy the Earth and all of its inhabitants. The only way to stop the Elemental's destructive nature is to imprison them with the use of ancient crystals. Each Elemental can be returned back to their hibernation state with a total of five crystals. We must act quickly. Coco, what is the status of the new portal chamber you've been working on? It's almost finished. A few little adjustments here and there, and it'll be ready to go. Well done, Coco. This gives us the ideal opportunity to test it. We must hurry. This game is not very well programmed. I, I recently played the PS2 version, like the, um, and, and it was just very buggy. Rash Bandicoot, my old nemesis. How the heck are you? Still gathering crystals? Old habits die hard, don't they? My days are being spent on something much more intriguing. Meet Crunch, my newest creation. This is the creature who keeps sabotaging your master plan? <laughs> You gotta be kidding. I'll exterminate this field right in no time. Now, Crunch, your time with Crash will come soon enough. Isn't he brilliant? A testament to my true scientific genius. A real bandicoot warrior. Unlike you, Crash. Oh well, we all make mistakes. Ta-ta for now. Okay. I'm just trying to get used to the controls. Assuming. There we go. What are you looking at, Buzzhead? I'm Rocco, the Earth Elemental. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex woke me from my captive slumber, and now I'm free to pulverize whatever gets in my way. Oh, don't even think about collecting those crystals, bro. Because if you do, I'm going to bury you alive. I mean, it looks a little laggy, but um, this runs actually a lot better than the PS2 version. I just have to get used to it. I'm used to the PlayStation controls anyway, so this is kind of weird for me, playing a Crash game on something other than a PlayStation. I've never 100% of this game, so... I can't wait to see if there's a secret ending or whatnot. I've never even looked up to see if there's an actual secret ending either, so. Oh, that was close. 
close. Controls are similar, actually, to the Insane Trilogy on the Switch. And, like, I played the PS2 version recently, and it was just very buggy, I said, and, like, the music was just completely not synced at all like this level there was like no um the music did not play at all so it's very um awkward playing it and probably would be awkward playing it for youtube or or twitch i mean it it runs a little slower, like, just... Um, but I'll, I'll get used to it. This is gonna be... This is gonna suck. I, I pressed the wrong button. Yep, there we go. <sighs> I shouldn't have done that. Almost jumped into the water again. I'm not going to do the death route anyway, so we'll do that later on. I was thinking of like doing challenge playthroughs of Crash, and one of them I thought of was like doing a playthrough where I did not die. Like if I died, I would just have to start over. That would be very challenging. Oh, come on. I might have to kill myself. Because I accidentally did that. And I, 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 for some reason, I cannot get crashed to jump that high. Yeah. We'll kill my, or I'll kill myself. Do not report me to a suicide hotline or anything. Or not me, but crash. Luckily, we'll get a lot of um, wampa fruit, so we'll make up the um, we'll make up the lost life in no time. Yeah, there we go. Okay, do 
not slide. And we got the gem, I think. Yep. It's only in Crash 1 where if you die, you won't get the gem, but every other game, you get the gem. So that's level 1 down. There is another gem, but that's if, um... That, that's if you go through the death route, which I'm going to do later, because I want to 100% this game. And here's the first gimmick level. There's only 15 boxes. Okay. Oh, boxes. Is that loud soon? God, this is laggy. I bet, that, like, I don't remember this game being this laggy, but... I never, I guess I never picked it up as a pick. Um, just noticed it as a kid, just because, you know, you're a kid and you don't notice things like that, but I remember the game being not horrible, but, you know, not great either. So, I bet this game would have, like, a lot better score if, from the reviewers, if it wasn't so poorly pro programmed. And that is an annoying sound. Okay, there's one left, and that's right here. And we have saved Nebraska, or Oklahoma, or Kansas, or whatever. These levels are kind of annoying. Okay. And this is the easiest of the levels too, but they are kind of annoying. I'm just trying to get as many lives as possible, so, like, if a frustrating part does come up, I won't even have to worry about it. And 
plus I did play this on PlayStation recently, so... I shouldn't have the problems that I did with frustrating levels like I did because I kind of had practice even though it was like a few weeks ago, but... As long as I'm not speedrunning the game, I should be fine. Nitro's down here. Eh. That was close. I don't know if you can fall off from there. But... I think so far I've died once, um, accidentally, and I died once on purpose. And I don't think there's any meaning to go down that way, so I'll just go up here. If there is boxes, we'll just go back. Yeah, there was no meaning to go that way. made it through three levels and we got three gems wizards and lizards By the fifth warp room, I should have the controls down. Son of a bitch. bonus um level already Luckily I don't think these are la as laggy as the first level I'm just being cautious with my um, eye jumps. My high jumps and slides. Oh, son of a bitch. Second suicide.
Oh, come on. That was honestly a terrible attempt, but I was trying to get it on, um, I was trying to eliminate the top box so I could jump on it and then hopefully do a high jump, but it did not work. Wampa fruit because I've tried plenty of times. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And this is classic Crash Bandicoot. You just get frustrated and you start screwing up. And you just have to keep your calm, but it's really frustrating. Um, and the remakes are more frustrating, but luckily, um, this one isn't too hard. It's just me being an idiot. And I could blame the GameCube controls, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna do that and complete the bonus round. Like in the remakes on that jump, I would have, I would have slipped off. Got another gem. Mm. So we have one more level left in the warp room. And I think we should be able to get this gem too. Shake, rattle, and roll your bandicoot butt.
was extremely close. This level is kind of annoying. But it was the first one I did because my last playthrough I did everything in um, opposite order. Lives. That was Roy Holiday's number when he played, and Bryce Harper when he first played. gems, but that's fine. We'll do that another time. Okay, now we'll do Rumble in the Rocks. The first boss fight. Well, well. Looks like the Bandicoot's been busy collecting crystals. I warned you, Bandicoot. Finally, I get to wrap my fingers around your this is kind of an annoying boss fight just because it's kind of like RNG we'll see how we fare missed that there we go we have to get the other one where is it There we go. It's hard to make crash top.
There we go. Hopefully we can do this first try. We do have a mini map that I had no idea we had. Nitro, and we can actually walk on the nitro crates if we use the sneak um, maneuver, which is extremely convenient. Cortex, when are you and that super weapon of yours going to put an end to that interfering bandicoot? You are beginning to test my patience. Uh, uh, I'm working on a dukauka. Listen, Crash, you may have outsmarted Rocco, but there are three more elemental masks where he came from. And just as luck would have it, they are all significantly more powerful. Ha! I have no doubt that the water elemental, Wawa, will make sure you never see the light of day. Yeah, the water boy and I are gonna take you out. Ooh, I'm gonna rip you limb from limb. Okay, I'm gonna save the game. And I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you all have a great day, good morning, good night, and I'll see you all later. See ya!